everybody, um, today we're gonna be leaving off where we last left off on episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Starved for survive for help, I think. I know who you are. I, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. The game adapts to the choices you make. Alright guys, let's continue. Let's kill this walker. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. What's this? It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Who knows what Larry's problem is? Maybe that's just the way he is, but that guy needs to chill out. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, he's, um... He's a pain in the ass. Literally, as soon as I saved Clementine, he punched me, got stuck, and then Kenny. Take this shot. 
We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. We're coming, Kenny. I you spraying him on my way. Jesus oh, Christ. Crap. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... This is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh god! I'm gonna have to catch you! Lee, do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Try to cut the chain! Ah! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Ah! Lee, it has to be now! Ah! Oh. Ah! He has a stump now. Who oh got Shit! Is he? He passed out. Oh, we gotta get him. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Wow. A lot of blood. Guys, I'm gonna give you some advice. Behind you! Never chop Travis! off your legs. Come on, come on, we gotta move. That's where it's ah. blood from your body. Cut off your legs and use all your blood and go back. What was that sound? You hear that? Is that Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! 
What happened? Oh, ah, Hell, what's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, Shut I up. don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little mm. group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, uh, it might but... feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Well, I, I was hardly paying attention. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, Why please. shut up? Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, go help Mark. Don't give me that look, I'll smack the life out of you, old man. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Alright. Jerky and two cheese things. What were you looking at? Yeah, go work on the fence. Three people here. I have an apple, two cheese crackers, and jerky. Enough to feed these three guys over here. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Hmm. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we get some food? Boy, shut up. Here. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? Uh, what do you think, Duck? No, probably not. I don't want to be mean to him, but... Want something to eat? 
If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let's give this to Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The deed is done. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's Boy. none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Now you said that, now you ain't gonna get none for the rest of your life. You're gonna starve to death. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, oh. you take good care of it then. Oh crap. I she, will. She know. She knows. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. I don't know either. It's killing me. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Stop the coffee. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. It's a cat. Duh. 
How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. But shut up. I'm doing what I have to do. Let's talk to Kenny. Yeah, table was in my way. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I'm stuck. Come on. Why can I not leave? God damn it. Alright. Let's talk to No, oh, not Kenny. This girl. What's your name? Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. Hey, don't feel bad. I'd almost rather starve than eat most of that stuff. Besides, you've done plenty for me already. What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Lily, I... Uh... I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Katja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. What is it between you two? Why do you have a personal grudge against Lee? He knows why. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. 
What about the other kid? Place, asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Carly... Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You don't agree with me? Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Just you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine might know. 
She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it There's off There's only two of them. Yeah, you know Not what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Jesus! Fuck Jesus. you! Fuck you! Jesus! Jesus! Asshole. He's already dead. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's say get that to the again. Dead where it's safe. everybody i think i'm gonna end, end this episode right here so see you next time